This will be the eighth and final part of the Illuminati Card Game Exposed series, and I hope this has been very helpful for you, and I hope this has helped you see the bigger agenda of the Illuminati like never before. But I've basically gone over a good chunk of the cards, and now I'm just going to go over some other ones that I found. But here this one says, New Federal Budget. And as you can see, what does it show? It shows them dumping in the American dollar into the ground. What is that really showing you? They're getting rid of the old and replacing it with the new, new federal budget as in new world currency. That is exactly what they're getting ready for. And we see that they're pushing that big agenda even today. We see exactly what they're doing and we see exactly what they're getting ready for with the bricks and everything else. They're what they're getting rid of the American dollar. The Obama administration has even admitted that they would like to kill the dollar. I'm telling you, this is more than just a game. This is real life. Now I thought this card was interesting because it says ninjas gives a plus four on any assassination attempt and a plus two on any non-distant or non-instant attack to destroy. Any attempt to destroy the ninjas is at a minus 10 penalty and any failed attempt to control or destroy them gives an action token. Now what's interesting about this card is it reminds you of who the CIA, the FBI, and all the other alphabet soups who are paid assassins literally. And notice the purple behind it. Very interesting, especially at a time like this. What do they know that we don't know? What are they getting ready for? And just what are they really trying to show us behind closed doors? Now, I'm not sure if I've gone over this card in the past, but this says offshore banks, and it says this group is immune to any attack to destroy by government, corporate, or criminal groups. The offshore banks are used to reorganizing phony corporations, often twice a day. You may move any group you control to any other legal position in your power structure once per turn on your turn as a free action and it shows what the destruction of the american dollar but also what are these offshore banks what are they responsible for they team up together to talk about how they want to enslave us even more and not only that but to get that new world currency through the imf and through other organizations in the banks that they're trying to do because we know the federal reserve is a giant, giant, ginormous scam to begin with. They print out fake money and then they place worth on the on the fake money to create fake debt that doesn't really exist. And then they tax us with it through the banks and charge interest on it through the banks because they know that's how they can enslave us into the fraudulent system that doesn't even exist. I talked more about this in many other parts and most notably part one, but I'm, I just thought it was interesting that they're showing us this. What are they really trying to show us. Now, I thought this card was interesting because it says Opportunity Knocks, and it says they thought they were safe, they were wrong, and it seems to be alluding to what Opportunity Knocks. You mean when the Illuminati knocks on your front door and, and when they want to make you into a celebrity? Because what a lot of celebrities did not know before they became celebrities is that, oh, they thought it was fun and good. They thought the parties and all that stuff was good, but when they really came to it, they didn't know about the demonic rituals and the demonic initiation of the Illuminati and how satanic it really is. They didn't know about it, but now that they do, well, it's too late because they thought they were safe and they were wrong. Just take a look at Prince and he, well, he could have told you all about that. So what is it really alluding to? What are they really showing you? I'm telling you, it's all on these cards. Now this card is very interesting because it says pale people in black and it says oh the despair oh the angst and it says if the pale people participate in an attack to control their target becomes infected with boredom depression and disgust and all effects of opposed alignment may be ignored this group cannot be destroyed for every pale person in black who becomes an insurance salesman another who graduates from high school and what does it seem to be alluding to the most I love angst uh, that's that button that it shows oh what controlled opposition not only that but it shows how media and mainstream media controls the minds of especially teenagers and people in general to make them feel a certain way not only that but you notice why you have smart meters in your house because the government can use it in order to mind control you to make you feel a certain way have you ever wondered why you've had mood swings before in your house have you ever wondered why you feel angry on certain days but really happy and jovial on other days could you ever have wondered that it could 
it be the TV programs that you're watching, the idiot box that you're watching? Could all of that have something to do with it? And what are they trying to do? Through social media, so-called, they're trying to make people what? Get their eyes glued onto the TV set and glued onto these screens and glued onto their phones so that they start feeling depression and disgust and boredom. That is the goal because if they can feel that way, then they can control you to think a certain way. I'm telling you, the mind control goes much deeper than you think, but how deep does the rabbit hole go? Oh, but this one's the most interesting because it says orbital mind control lasers. I'm telling you, this mind control stuff is goes way more deeper than you think. But it says, by using the laser's action, you may add, remove, or reverse an alignment of any group in play. You may do this at any time except during a privileged attack. This change lasts only for the rest of the current player's turn. And what is it really showing you? How they mind control us each and every day through the GMOs and the poisoning that they put and our food through the fluoride and the poison that they put in our water and in our drinks through all that stuff through the programs that you're watching yeah they may look fun on the surface and oh yeah the real housewives of atlanta may be fun but what are they really trying to do they're trying to mind control you to make you think a certain way they're trying to get you all revved up about things that don't matter oh look at what this person did on tv today oh look at what cookie did on empire today i'm telling you it's all about mind control if they can get you revved up and riled up over emotions especially with sports games too and if they can make you feel a certain way then they can control your mind to focus on things that do not matter whatsoever so that you're distracted from the plans of the new world order from the coming destruction that's even at the door but see they don't want you thinking about that because they want you to think oh everything is okay oh mr obama says everything is fine and change is coming to america so we don't have to worry or do we? Of course, with Yahoo, we don't have to worry at all. But this card says nuclear power companies. And I might have already talked about this in a previous uh, video, but it says they're warping reality in those reactors. It's unnatural, I tell you. As it's action, this group can cancel the action of any other group, even an Illuminati group. What is this card really hinting at? What did the nuclear power companies really behind the manipulation of the weather? They can place fake clouds into the sky that way and make it so that fake weather can really infiltrate certain places. I know that sounds crazy, but that is what they can do. That is what they have been doing. Not only that, but causing radiation in certain places to what the operation depopulation in order to dumb down the population and start to kill off people with diseases and other means and methods of doing so. I hope you're seeing the bigger agenda behind all this because remember, everything has an agenda. Linda. Now this card says it works, it really works, and 27 scientists have gone mad so far trying to build another one. The group linked to this device can get one extra action token at the beginning of each turn. And it says what perpetual motion machine, what does this remind you of? I just did a video on it, CERN and CERN technology, we can't even see it right there. And why is this so important? Why are they even alluding to CERN to begin with in, in large hedron colliders and a particle accelerators and stuff like that because they're trying to not only manipulate the weather and control the weather that way with harp and cern in order to stage droughts and stage earthquakes and stage tsunamis at strategic locations but what they're also trying to do as well is that they're trying to access the other dimension and portals and doorway openings in order to make way for the beast. That is exactly what they're doing and to cause massive destruction and chaos. What do they have to do? Phoenix rising out of the ashes, order out of chaos before they can bring their new world order. What do they have to do? They have to destroy the old world first and that is what this is alluding to. I hope you're seeing this. This goes much bigger and goes much deeper than you think. But like I said, how deep does it go? Now, I thought this card was interesting because it says pledge drive and it says place an action token on any one liberal group or on two or more liberal groups whose current power adds up to five or less. This card may not benefit a group that already has uh, any tokens or a group which is suffering from any effect that prevents it from getting action tokens. This card may be played at any time it requires an action from your Illuminati. 
Now, what's interesting about this card is it reminds me what of all the different pledges that they try to do. Oh, pledge here to this company, and this organization. Oh, pledge here and donate here. Donate your money and your time here. When you're just giving away free money, you ever wonder where your money goes after you donate it to the Red Cross or to any so-called helpful government organization or those relief campaigns to Haiti and other places? Where is your money actually going? I don't know and neither do you because I, they know where it's going and I'm telling you it's not going anywhere good most likely it's going to the FEMA camps and other programs that could put you into FEMA camps and to keep you enslaved to the system and honestly folks that is just the darn honest hardcore truth whether you like it or not now this card is very telling because it says phone freaks and it says gives plus six on any attempt to control or destroy any computer group. By using this group's action, you may move any group belonging to any player except puppets of rival Illuminati groups, very interesting, and any other control arrow and their same power structure at any time except during an attack. Now what is this card really, really, really showing you? It's showing you who are behind the phones and phone tampering and phone wire because the CIA and the FBI have even admitted to what going into your phone uh, records in the NSA as well and spying on you. It even says control or destroy any computer group. They can track everything you say. They can track your websites. They can control what you search. They can track what you search. They know what you're going to search, what you're going to buy from Amazon. They know all of that, whether you like that or not. And I know it's very freaky, but remember, they're the phone freaks. Now this card is very telling too because it says pollsters and it says we'll tell you what to think because what is this really showing you? The elections are all rigged. The polls are all rigged. They know who's going to win ahead of time. Your vote has never counted to begin with because remember presidents are selected and not elected. But when it says we'll tell you what to think, it's about what? Mind control because they give you the illusion that you can vote for anybody and that oh you have a free voice and oh you, your vote counts. They give you that illusion but the reality is it does not matter they rig the numbers anyway they make up fake percentages because they know exactly who's going to win and for the 2016 elections there might as well not be an election because we know mr obama's going to stay in office no matter what whether you want to believe it or not but just wait for it or what they're even going to do to make it even worse is they'll let hillary clinton win and then you know feed us the propaganda oh first female president President, first female president when we know better than that i hope you're seeing the bigger agenda behind all this because remember there's always a bigger agenda now i know i've gone over this card before but it says goal what is the goal of the illuminati population reduction too many people making too many problems and not enough love to go round and notice how they put round in quotes because they know darn well the earth ain't round like a sphere the earth is flat they know that whether you want to believe that or not but why is this card so important is because what population reduction is that the is that the goal all along and how are they doing that oh climate change and the climate change lie and the global warming hoax they're all hoaxes what are they trying to do with that not only are they trying to tax you ridiculous taxes like carbon in taxes and other pollutants that they're causing but what else are they trying to do they're trying to say oh well because you're the problem you're breathing in too much air oh my gosh you're breathing in too much air and to and to protect mother earth and, and to save mother earth oh we need to get rid of some people because that's how we're going to make the earth more sustainable is that what the un is getting ready for is that what the united nations and the pope are pushing of course it is and i hope you see it for what it really is Remember who's in charge here. What is this card really showing you? Power grab because the person you think who's in charge and in control is not in control at all. Just look at your lovely presidents. None of them were in charge. None of them have power because there's always somebody behind them. And who's behind them? The protocols of the elders of Zion. The elders of Zion are behind them. The Jewish Zionists who are the synagogues of Satan. That is not according to me. That 
is according to scripture itself. Revelation chapter 2 verses 9 and Revelation chapter 3 verses 9. Why am I showing you this? Because they give you the illusion that, oh, the CEO or the commander in chief is in charge. But is he really? Because last I checked, what did JFK try to do? He tried to expose to the world the secrets and the hidden secrets of the CIA and how they're responsible for not only going around assassinating others, but and also drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and other monstrous crimes, but also the monstrous crime of the Federal Reserve and how they're scamming us day by day, day by day with taxes and everything. But what happened to him? Well, you, the rest is history. And not only that, but Gaddafi in Libya with the not to mention other places that are not compliant with Monsanto and the Jewish agenda for world control and the Zionist agenda for world control. That is not a conspiracy, whether you want to believe it or not. That's why they have rogue nations to begin with. Because if you're not compliant with the Rothschild banks and the Rockefellers and all of that, if you're not compliant with putting Monsanto in your countries to poison the food even more, they are coming after you. If you're not compliant with the oil system and them taking over your oil like Afghanistan and Iraq. They're coming after you and that's just the darn truth. And they only have three more countries to go. North Korea, Iran, and Cuba. It's only a matter of time. Remember, what's the goal? Power for its own sake. That is the goal of the Illuminati, to control everything and to have power over everything and everyone, but not for long. Remember, the capping of the New World Order. That's why you're seeing all those pyramids all over the place with the all-seeing eye in the middle, because it represents and symbolizes what? Them getting ready to cap the pyramid. Remember, the Illuminati is about to turn 240 years old to 239 years since it's been in power. That is what they're getting ready for. And whether or not you want to believe it, America was never a Christian nation. America was founded in the same year as the Illuminati was founded. More than half of your presidents and your lovely presidents were in fact Freemasons. And that is a fact. And not only that, but many of them are in the Illuminati and all of them are related by blood. So do you really think you have a voice when when it comes to voting, I suggest you think again. Oh, but there's more corruption than you think because this card says power corrupts. And what does it do with too much power? There is always corruption. And notice how they show money and everything when we know money is fake and it's worth as much as Monopoly dollars. But see, the Zionists have to put a worth on it, at least for now, until they collapse it all to begin with and then enforce their new world currency so that they can surveil you and control you even more. It's all a big scam scam to begin with. It's all a big hoax. It's all a big sham, but they're going to keep pushing this agenda for the new world order. Now, I might have already gone over this card, but it says, what's the goal? Power to the people. And this card is very, very deceptive because as you can see, all of them have their arms raised, but oh, somebody has a pyramid on their arm. What is this really showing you? It's showing you the illusion of power to the people. It's making, what do they do? They make you think that, oh yeah, you have a voice. Oh yeah, your voice counts. Oh yeah, your opinion matters. Your voice really does matter. Or does it really? Not only that, but they also show you what, how the Illuminati like to blend in with normal people, how they try to blend in and tug at the hearts of American strings in order to push their own agendas. Like for example, immigration, because if you even speak speak out about anti-immigration in certain countries, you could be jailed. If you speak out against immigration here in America, you could be considered and deemed a terrorist according to government documents, according to military documents. And that's what your military is training for, domestic terrorism. You could be a terrorist for even watching this video right now. I'm telling you, the agenda goes much deeper than you think, but that is exactly what they try to do is blend in. And many of them try to blend in under the guise of Christianity, and that is just the darn truth. Remember, wolves in sheep's clothing. I hope you're paying attention. Now, I thought this card was very interesting because it shows you very cryptic symbolism in the pictures. What well, looks to be yin and yang here, an apple there. Very interesting, reminding me of evolution, Adam and Eve. And it even shows you this, which looks like what CERN technology and what they're getting ready for. The opening of doorways.
But the card goes on to say Principia Discordia, the original manuscript. What do they know that we don't know? And what are they getting ready for? And what are they getting ready to disclose to us? It's only a matter of time. But be careful who you tell your information to. Now, I might have already gone over this card, but it says, Psychiatrist, show me a sane man and I will cure him for you. Carl Jung, be careful who you disclose your information to because the government's also listening into every single conversation, just like they're listening to you through your TV and even through your computer and even through your cell phone. Oh, but I hope you're paying attention to this because I'm telling you the spying goes much deeper than just that. They know every single thing about you but the question is do you know anything about them now this card is very interesting because it says privileged attack play this card when you make any attack that attack is now privileged no one except you and the target player if any can aid either side your illuminati or secret group must participate in the attack or spend an action token. Why is this card so important? You may be wondering when it says privilege attack, what is that really talking about? Or is it talking about how war is all staged and planned ahead of time and how there's no legitimate basis to go to war except to protect the pockets of the Illuminati Jewish bankers? Is that what it's really showing you? And when it says privilege attack, well, who's privileged to attack what? Because last I checked, America's always going out and attacking others when they have no business this doing that and even trying to protect Israel any way they can because Israel is always, always, always being threatened. Israel's a threat. Israel's a threat. Even though ISIS seems to never attack Israel, I wonder why that is. I wonder what the bigger agenda is behind all of this. Now, this card is interesting because it makes reference to Tsarist Russia, but it says privatization, people's glorious revolutionary food distribution collective. It says play this card at any time. It requires actions by corporate groups with the total power equal to the resistance of the target group, doubled if the group is currently government. Huh, interesting. Then it says if it is controlled by a rival, add bonuses for its close... To the Illuminati. Alternatively, one Illuminati action will do the job. The target group becomes permanently corporate. If it was government, that alignment is lost. And if it was dictatorship, it is no longer. Keep this card with the link to the target. Wow, this card tells you so much truth. What are they really showing you? They're sh starting to show you what, what's about to start happening with socialism and what's going to be the reality for America and Europe and other places worldwide is what they're trying to turn it into a socialist republic, a new world republic, and this is what's going to be the case. People are going to be lining up in certain places to get food, and they're only going to be able to get a certain amount of food per day because what? They're trying to limit everything and control you even more, and there's going to be rioting and everything else after the economy collapses because this is the new world system that they're looking to put in place, and I hope you can see that and read between the lines and see just what they're getting ready for and see just what time it really is. Now, I thought this card was interesting because it says purge. This card may be played at any time during your turn as an action for the group that uses it. It can be used in two ways. One, it can be used by your Illuminati. It destroys all agent cards currently in play, which duplicate your own Illuminati group. But also, it can be used by another group. It reduces the group's power and global power by one, but makes it permanently immune to duplicate group cards played by rivals. Link this card to the group. And, it and you've been hearing a lot about purging and purging out of things. The word purge has been coming up for a long time and it shows what destruction that is even at the door. And it even shows a man coming out and breaking a mirror, just like what's foreshadowing the new world order, the unleashing of the beast. And I hope that's what you're seeing, purging out the old and replacing it with the new. Please, I hope you're seeing this and seeing the bigger agenda for what it really is. Now, this card is interesting for several reasons because it says Reign of Frogs and it says Disaster. This is an instant attack to destroy any place. It does not require an action. Its power is 10 against a place of any size plus 4 for each frog god the target player has in play. And that's another card too. But it says if the attack succeeds, the target is devastated. If the die roll succeeds by more than 6, the target is completely destroyed. And not only is this card mimicking and making fun of the 10 plagues, 
Pisces. It's also getting you ready for the reign of the Illuminati. Notice how it says reign of frogs. Wow, that's all we've been hearing about lately is reign, R-A-I-N, as in purple reign for what? Getting ready for the reign of the beast. And what are they going to, you're going to start seeing all these disgusting things, all these disgusting creatures before the 10 plagues of Egypt come harrowing down on America. It's only a matter of time and this card is getting you ready for that. Wow, they're telling you so much truth in these cards. I hope you're seeing the truth because it's all truth and nothing but the truth. But you better lock and load it because this card says reload. Place an action token on any one violent group or on two or more violent groups whose current power adds up to five or less. And you can see even the sun symbolism in the middle of it as well. But what is this card really alluding to? What the government's planning on doing and how they're buying all that weapon and ammunition as well as the plans for gun control because that's also an Illuminati card as well and how they're trying to get rid of your guns for Sandy hoaxes and other stage shootings that didn't actually happen because they need to get rid of your guns and condition you more and more. Is that what they're getting ready for? Of course it is. But watch out because what's coming soon? A revolution. And it says the rebels are in the hills. They have outside support. They have photocopiers. What are they getting ready for? A giant revolution. And that's exactly what's about to happen come the new world order. Because when everything starts going out of chaos and control, when the food, when the food no longer comes into the stores and when the economy finally collapses, people are going to go nuts. They're going to go crazy. They're going to be wanting a revolution. But many people are going to be looking for the government to help them when the government's not going to help them at all. If anything, the government's going to lead them to the slaughterhouse, literally, aka the FEMA camps. Now, this card is interesting because it says Robot Sea Monsters, and it says gives plus four to any attempt to destroy any corporate or government group or any coastal place, including with the disaster, except in space. Very interesting and suspicious indeed. Not only that, but notice how it says coastal place. Here we go with coastal places again. It says has plus 10 to any direct attempt to destroy Japan or California, and other Illuminati cards have mentioned Japan and California, especially when it comes to sea monsters. What are they getting ready for? You're going to start seeing disgusting creatures that have not been seen since the days of Noah, and they're going to start looking like this and not only that but there have been a, there's been a big push of robots in the past couple of days now or in the past couple of weeks especially that's all they've been talking about is new technology new technology robots robots cyborgs and the illuminati even have a card that features cyborgs what are they going to get ready for and when they start showing you these disgusting creatures that have not been seen since the days of noah will you think that they're just oh out of this world or have they been manufactured ahead of time in some secret laboratory under closed doors, behind closed doors, by the fallen angels themselves, what will you believe? Because this is the goal all along. Sabotage is out with the old and with the new. But see, they're already upping the ante when it comes to upheaval and chaos. Remember, order out of chaos. They want to drive people crazy and push people's buttons to make them go nuts and make them go crazy any way they can so that then they can come in with the military and declare martial law worldwide, but especially in America. And the way to do that is through sabotage and cannibalism and upheaval. And if you don't think this stuff is going to start happening real soon, I suggest you wake up and think again because that is what your government's preparing for. They're even preparing for a zombie apocalypse. Who do you think the zombies are going to be? Because many people are already zombies because they're asleep to the plans of the new world order. It's only going to get worse from here whether you like it or not. Now, I've already might have gone over this card too, but it says gives plus three to any attempt to control any corporate or a government group or bank. And notice how it says savings and loans when we know savings and loans and all that is a scam. The banks take your money and steal your money from your bank account and they do and they, they take it overseas to gamble with it. Not only that, but we know darn well the money is fake anyway, but sometimes what do also do banks do? They're not safe for your money. And when these bail-ins start going 
into effect. They're going to legally steal your money, whether you like it or not. That's why you need to start getting your money out of the banks and see the bigger agenda. And if more people knew the scams of the Federal Reserve, as well as the IRS, and how we're not even supposed to be paying taxes, even according to the Constitution, then they would try to do something about it instead of sleeping and going about their day thinking that the system is okay when it is not. But what people are perish for the lack of knowledge, my people are perish for the lack of knowledge. Now, I know this card is hard to see, but I wanted to go over it. I was actually looking for it, but it says school prayer. And what is this card really alluding to when you can pray and when you cannot pray? Because that is what exactly they're trying to do. In many schools, they have banned Bibles and they have banned prayers all over the place. Why is that? Because of mind control. Not only that, but in some places in Scotland, they've even banned the teaching of creationalism and creation altogether. But they're pushing this agenda of evolution because they're getting ready for the new world order so that when the so-called aliens get here who will be the fallen angels disguised what are they going to tell you they're going to tell you that you too can become aliens you too can become gods all you have to do is evolve are you going to believe the scam or are you going to wake up and see the bigger agenda ahead of time now this card is interesting because it says science fiction fans and it says gives plus two to any attempt to control or destroy any computer group gives its master plus six to any such attempt, gives plus two to any attempt to control any weird group. Now, why is this card so important? You may be wondering because what is this card really showing you and alluding you to? The difference between fiction and what's true because everything that they're showing you on this picture is in fact fiction, including the spherical earth, whether you want to believe that or not. But also what? They never went to the moon. The big space program called NASA is a big fraud. It's a fraudulent space program. All of those astronauts are all Freemasons and they have to keep the secrets because they fulfill the plan of the new world order to get ready for the false messiah and the false alien deception. You can watch my Project Bluebeam video for more on that. But there was never any moon landing. They never went to the moon. There was never any space mission. It's all a fake. It's all a phony. And how do they film all that stuff? They film it with green screens. They film it underwater. That is how they do it. And I hope you see that. And they use zero gravity planes to make it look like they're in space when they know no, darn well you cannot actually go there it's all pseudoscience and it's all made up and i hope you see that it's a bigger agenda behind all that why are they faking that why are they hiding it they're hiding it because they're getting ready for the new world order because if they can fool you into believing that there are other planets out there if they can fool you into believing that there's space out there and that there's other worlds out there and that there are other extraterrestrials out there, then they can fool you into the extraterrestrials, also known as the aliens, also known as the fallen angels, who will disguise themselves as aliens and fool you into thinking that they're from some other planet when they are not. That is why all of these operations have gone on. That is why they have sealed off Area 51 and Antarctica because they don't want you to know this stuff. I'm telling you this goes much deeper than you think and I hope you're seeing that with both eyes open and everything I'm telling you today is classified by the government because the government works with the demons and the fallen angels they have been for 70 years there's even a picture showing Hitler take a handshaking with a so-called alien who do you think that is look up operation high jump and operation paperclip for more on that, it's time to get educated big time. Remember, not everything is a hoax, not everything is a fake, and not everything is a sham. Remember, the boy who cried hoax, and everything I'm telling you are secrets that no man was meant to know, that no man wants you to know. Secrets man was not meant to know. You were not meant to know any of this stuff that I'm telling you today. They was supposed to be a secret. Project Bluebeam was supposed to be a secret, and so were some other things, including 9-11 as well. But when once things got legal, leaked out. Well, it got leaked out. Not only that, but it's fulfilling biblical prophecy because the truth is what's coming to light. And when once you accept the truth, that is what makes you free because the truth shall make you free.
Now, I thought this card was very interesting because it says New World Order Solidarity. It says we must all hang together or surely we shall all hang separately. Benjamin Franklin said at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, double the resistance of all groups. This card replaces any red NWO card in play. Not only that, but what does it say? Solidarity. That's all Mr. Obama talks about in his speeches is, oh, solidarity, solidarity. We all need Need to come together and we all need to merge as a new world order because that's the solution to our cause problem isn't it that is what they're getting you ready for and i hope you see it and i hope you see the bigger agenda because remember that there's always an agenda they don't just do these things and say oh yeah solidarity oh yeah false peace oh yeah false hope oh yeah the false peace sign which is an inverted cross by the way it's all a big scam to begin with they're just conditioning your mind so that you can accept the new world order once it finally gets here Remember, the deception goes much deeper than you think because this card says state lotteries and I'm telling you it's all a big scam because not only do they rig it so that they can figure out the winner ahead of time, but not only that, but what it really shows you too is that even with the winner, even if the winner wins, they have to half of it goes with ta so-called taxes anyway. So did you really win anything? It's just another way to scam you out of the little money that you already have to keep you enslaved to the system and to give you that illusion of freedom and the illusion of oh fun and games and the illusion of gambling when they're the ones who rigged the system to begin with. Now, I thought this card was interesting because it shows you if Stonehenge is in your power structure, you are immune to all magic groups, magic plots, or magic resources. And you can watch my video on the giants. And what you'll see is that the giants are the ones who built these uh, Stonehenges and all these other artifacts. It was the Nephilim, the offspring of the fallen angels, as well as the pyramids as well. That is just the darn truth. Not only that, but what are they really getting ready for? If you looked at my Project Bluebeam video, one of the things that they're going to be doing is they're going to be staging earthquakes at these strategic locations to get to make the Bible seem false and to make it seem as though, oh, we found new discoveries. Oh, new discoveries have been found here. So we have to discredit everything else to get ready for the new world order and to get ready for the bigger deceptions that are even at the door. I hope you're seeing the bigger agenda because remember, the new world order, it's a very nefarious agenda and I'm doing my best to expose truth to you any single way I can. But you better straighten up because it says subliminals. It says their secret mind altering messages are hidden everywhere. The number of media groups you control is added to the power and global power of the subliminals. And you can see subliminal messages with sex written right there. It even says you need more NWO. No, you really don't because what is this card really showing you? Everything is subliminal. The TV that you watch, the food that you eat, the water that you drink, it's all subliminal. How how is the water subliminal? Because it has fluoride in it to poison you even more. How is the food subliminal? Because it has dangerous chemicals in it and other poisons and toxins that affect your body and make you sicker and sicker. How is the TV subliminal? Because it makes you think a certain way under subliminal mind control. How is everything else subliminal? Because when you listen to NASA and to the fake planets and the fake discoveries and all that stuff, it's you're listening and relying to them rather than doing the research on your own for things, but rather listening to a satanic government who will just tell you everything and the majority of people listen to everything that CNN tells them when it's all propaganda. And I hope people are seeing this bigger agenda because what they're trying to mentally program your mind for mind control. Just look up Project Monarch. The celebrities, especially celebrity women, will tell you all about that. Why? Because they have to keep the secret. Now this card exposes to you one of the, what? The Knights of Templar. And it says Templars. No, they weren't wiped out in 1312. They've been growing in power and wealth and strange knowledge. Strange knowledge? You mean like Gnosticism, mystery, Babylonian religion, evolution? Is that what it's talking about? Of course 
course it is. Remember, what is the goal here? Madness and chaos. I might have already gone over this card, but that is exactly what they're doing. They as in the elite and the Illuminati by merging as a new world order because only a handful of people control the world, at least for now anyway, and they're bringing and spreading madness worldwide. Because remember, that is exactly what they're trying to do, target different locations and destroy them, and they're targeting after volcanoes, harp, and CERN. Please look it up, but it says disaster. This is an instant attack to destroy any place except a huge one. It does not require an action. Its power is 18. That is why you're hearing and seeing a ton of volcanic eruptions, especially at such a time as this. I wonder what they're getting ready for. But don't be fooled because there could be vampires lurking around you. What is this card really showing you? The demons and how they try to do what? They try to infiltrate through different people. That's why you hear about demonic possessions. I'm telling you this stuff is real and it goes much deeper than you think. Now this card is telling because it says urban gangs, but what they don't tell you is that the CIA is the one that goes after and infiltrates in urbanized communities and spread drugs there for what? The control of urbanized areas, the new world order. And the final card I would like to share with you today is War Gamers. And it says, gives plus two on any attempt to control or destroy any computer group. By using their action, the War Gamers can spin or send anyone exposed plot to the bottom of its owner's plot de uh, plot's deck. And what this card is really alluding to you is what how war is all staged and how what one person controls and manages how war really goes. And who's the per that one person, symbolically speaking? The Jewish Zionist. Just look up World War I, World War II, and even World War III. Albert Pike can tell you all about that. It's all controlled and staged ahead of time. And I hope you're seeing the bigger agenda for what it really is. Please seek Yahuwah and his true son, Yahusha, because as you can see, it's only a matter of time until it, things get from bad to worse. But hopefully you've enjoyed this Illuminati card game series. Hopefully it's been very helpful to you. And I'll leave some helpful links below so you can see more of these cards on your Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.